It's amazing how many times it has been that God has just taken us to the edge financially. And by now, we're able to look back on it and see how every time he has come up with some way that we would not have even thought of that has allowed us to continue on financially. And here we are, we, here we are again, right now, we are at the end. We have about uh, not even a full month of funding left and not totally sure how uh, God's gonna do it, but kind of looking forward to seeing what he's gonna do this time. It's not something that we've done or made happen, but it's always something that he has brought to us that uh, we wouldn't have even thought of. Yesterday after prayer time, I, I read a Travel the Road, the November 2016 Travel the Road newsletter, and just totally spoke to this. And so I think God was speaking to me there, and I am just going to need to keep moving on with uh, what, he, what he's clearly called me to do. Now we're gonna make a last minute year-end donation to Teen Challenge. Got stuff just out of our closet. And we got more stuff in the garage. So trying to get as much write-off as we can to get as big of a refund on our taxes as possible because this year we kind of need it. All right, so I think this looks like a good load here. We've got all that. And then stuff in the back seat too. Looks like a good load. Yeah, garage sale prices, which is just amazing. But anyway, about $381 there. And I've already turned in earlier this year, 191. Wow, cool. All right, so that's it. Donation stuff done, time to head back home. Well, that was a great service today and it was kind of amazing because uh, it's kind of wild when God does that. The service was speaking about things that Jennifer and I were pretty much kind of talking about last night when we were having dinner about uh, when you're waiting for God's promises to be fulfilled and sometimes it takes longer than you think and it might not, the process might not look like what you expect it to look like. Mm -hmm but to keep pressing on that God doesn't make promises that he doesn't fulfill and press into him. We can't try to do it on our own without him. Jennifer went through and ran our tax numbers and found out that we we're gonna get a good tax return refund and we're gonna get most of the money back that we got that we had to pay last year for the uh, lump sum that I got with my pension and today we just got some good news something that we were waiting for so that we could do that yeah it's pretty cool that we got the tax document that we needed in order to be able to file for our taxes uh, I think companies they have a requirement to get it to you by the 31st and so this is still like I think a week ahead of that and I think Monday I think like through two days ago was the first day that you could file your return so not too shabby we got what we need so hopefully Lord willing we'll be able to file tomorrow and then hopefully within a short period of time we'll get the return yay before we completely run out <laughs> hello Check out place before dad. <laughs> <laughs> can he guess what it is? Can you guess that? What is it, Blaggy? What is it, Blaggy? She's very happy. That's what her <laughs> praise report is. <laughs> we got our state refund in. Still have to work on getting them to accept the IRS one, but got the state back but that and that only took us a week yeah that is good amazing job. good job california and blackie what do you think she says i think i am very happy right now <laughs> and i don't know if it's about the taxes <laughs> she said i don't care about taxes and this that means more kitty snacks that is huge right now with where we're at in our finances we just got my pension check which is only gonna last a little bit and we needed the state to come in right away and one week is pretty quick. So thank the Lord on that one. We were coming to the end of our money. We found out we we're gonna get a big tax refund. Then we found out we were only gonna get the state right away. So as we ran out of money, the state came in, which kept us going. 
And now that that's done, we got the my pension check in, and so we haven't received the federal yet. So what is what is going to be able to happen with the um, pension for this month right now? Um, so I believe it will cover our rent and our internet service, which are all at the first due on the first. Our tithe, which comes first. Um, and then we'll have, <clears throat> like, maybe uh, a couple hundred dollars for food. But it won't pay for the rest of our bills or gas. I've tried to make a habit of tithing first. Um, because knowing that everything comes from God. And so in response of being thankful, I want to tithe first. And... Um, and so obediently I've been doing that and in obedience I will do it again but there is a human side that says <gasps> because I don't know when the other money's coming in you know not just hoping God will take care of it but moving obediently because I'm trusting that that's that's how God works that God's word says if he takes care of the birds he takes care of the grass he knows our needs He's going to take care of it. As long as we're walking in his steps that he gives us. And we've seen this. This has been going on for three years that God just miraculously, miraculously provides right when we need it. And uh, in our human, I mean, you know, we both worked for a long time for somebody else. And you go in, you do the job, you do the work, and you know every week you get a paycheck. But this isn't like that, and it's definitely stretching my um, faith and learning a different way. <laughs> it's a scary position, but it's in a good position where you've got to have your total trust in God. And you would think it, would, it gets easier, but it, it seems like the, the longer I walk with the Lord, the more I understand the Israelites. When you're, I think there's a time in your faith where you're like, those Israelites, man, God constantly, constantly was doing things for them and they constantly grumbled. And that's how I'm just like an Israelite. God does stuff all the time, all the time. And yet um, the, the trials, the tests of like how close he brings you to trust him gets harder and harder, it seems like. And so I find myself being just like an Israelite. In our particular in instance in the way of finances, it's like God doesn't show us where that next solid place to take the next step is. He, 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 he puts it there as you go out and you take the step. So <laughs> it's... Uh, Definitely an adventure. Exciting is the glider that you're stepping off the cliff, but the glider is going to carry you and you know it. But it's, it would be more like stepping off the cliff and then trusting God will provide the glider. That's, so it's more panicky. You know, the, the interesting thing is when Jennifer and I first met, you know, we were making in the six figures incomes. But God has led us down a path away from all that to trusting him for everything, which is uh, not something that we're used to. <laughs> and not, yeah, not because God's not trustworthy, because he is. He's it's, always he's, provided. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, just definitely a tighter... Um, just a tighter taking you closer to the nubs where you can't control it to make it better by yourself. You really just have to trust he's going to do what God does. And, and that you have to trust that God is who he says he is, not who I think he is or who I hope he is. And that, that can be, can kind of trip you up. I think. If you want God to be who you think he is rather than trusting him for who he says he is. 
I was just minding my own business over here working on the computer and then Jennifer came in pretty excited about something. <gasps> What's going on? <laughs> so just two days, Wednesday, Wednesday was the first. And so we got Scott's um, retirement funds in, but, and I knew that we would get our tax return in probably sometime this month but as you saw earlier I didn't know when and so trying to figure out how to spend the money that isn't going to stretch as far as you need it to trying to be good stewards and also moving from hoping to trusting that God knows what we need when we need it and wanting to be uh, uh, obedient to uh, in a time when tithing God says that's the one thing that we can trust him in is tithing test him to test him what did I say trust oh. we can trust him uh, in everything we can trust yeah we can trust him in everything but the one thing we can test him in uh, is the tithing and I I know God has taken care of us so many times. I mean, I could tell you time and time and time again. And God is not a genie. And I don't want to treat him like a genie. Uh, but I want to be obedient. And I want to make good choices. And so I knew that I wanted to, I, I've always wanted to give God our best and give him first. And so I obediently gave him our trust. Gave him our trust. Gosh, I'm so excited. I can't talk. Gave him our tithe. I have an issue with T words. Uh, our tithe and trusted that. And even yesterday, Matt and I, we went grocery shopping. And if I looked at what we had left and how I should spend it, if it was going to have to last the whole month, that's not exactly what happened yesterday. But I just bought the things that we needed. And I just was like, Lord, I just got to trust you that if we're just sticking to buying what we absolutely need, not going crazy, I'm just, I'm going to move from hope to trusting that you're going to take care of it and it's going to come when we need it. And I, the boys were doing something and I had time and I just thought, you know, I'll just check. I've been checking online to see if, if IRS had finally had our uh, paper filed. We filed it by mail. Uh, in there, but then I thought, well, I'll just check her account first, and it's in the account. I am so thankful. You have no idea. No idea. Ah, God, once again, I can move from hope to trust because you do what you do all the time. Just seems like perfect timing every time. <laughs> You know, I mean, and it's this has been this journey ever since we've been doing the Christian adventure films thing. And it just like we go to the end and boom, go to the end. We think it's over. Boom. And just over and over and over. God just does miracles in his timing. And we didn't even know we were going to get a big tax refund like this. But God keeps moving it out and out and out. He's just it's amazing. Amazing. Thank you, Lord. For me, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's, um, you know, because in my human mind, it's like this might not come in for a while. Or what if they audit us? Then it's not going to come in for quite a while or something like that. So it's just been weird with this different way of getting paid for the work we do, I guess, by God rather than from a business every week. I, I In my human mind, it's kind of like, uh, this this might not happen. This might not come in. So I just, it, it just kind of like, I don't know, default. It's almost like, a, well, I'm just not going to think about it then. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing the work I know I'm supposed to do. And God just comes through. It's just amazing. It's probably a little easier, though, since for you, since you don't pay the bills or do the grocery shopping or any of the stuff that really takes money. Except he is very good about filling the gas tank when it needs to be filled. <laughs> but other than that, you don't really spend the money part. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of a change we made a while back because I was feeling the same position where I would make budgets and everything and then it would be like, that's just kind of a formality and we just spent whatever we decided to spend. So we switched it over to her managing the money. And, and so now she's on that end seeing where and how much is going out and how much we have left and everything. So I don't know. You think that's a good thing or? 
Probably, because I'm the spender and he's the saver. So it, it is because I have accountability, so I don't want to overspend. And we do we do talk about overall what our family goals are financially and that kind of budgeting stuff. Budgeting so. and stuff like that. Yeah. We haven't really had much the budget right now. Just like, <laughs> what can we pay? You know, all of our necessities and what do we need to downsize on? Anyway, God just keeps coming through and just miracle after miracle, perfect timing after perfect. It's, it's late for me. I'd like to have it a little early so that I have some breathing room. But Actually, God just, Actually, this was not right up because we still, we still, we still have still a couple had, hundred dollars. But again, it was just that question of I want to be obedient and a good steward of what he gave us. and But not knowing the crystal ball of when is it going to come? Like, how long do I have to make this last? But we had... We don't use a crystal ball, by the way. It's yeah. kind of an expression. <laughs> but we, um, we had used everything. So we were like out of everything. And anyway, so for me, that is just, I'm just so thankful because I just feel like God really was like, yes, you can trust me. And you're, so he came through. I feel like he came through now, I think, an answer to, to me, to me, to let me know that because there did are the times, right thing. Yes, I think so. Which I knew it. I knew it when I did it. It wasn't like I really questioned whether I was going to tithe. But I did kind of like, okay, Lord, you said we can test you in this. So I'm testing you just so you know. <laughs> and so, boom, the federal refund comes in. When we were making our own money, having a six-figure income, we didn't have to trust God, so we knew that we'd get a paycheck every week and we had the money coming in, even though we spent all of that too. But we knew, but in this position with what God's called us to do right now, we're just pretty much totally reliant on God and yeah, and just uh, definitely more of a faith walk and not trusting in uh Ourselves. What, ourselves and our job and all that kind of stuff but doing the work God's called us to do and not knowing how we're going to get paid is kind of like sometimes it gets a little scary not that he calls everybody to do what we're doing because mm -hmm. he doesn't need everybody to do the same thing he has a perfect plan and purpose for each one of our lives mm -hmm.